I meet very few people who really think that they've got everything covered. I think most organisations and most boards are not fully satisfied with what they're doing and are seeking to understand what others are doing and what more they should be doing. They're most worried about understanding what their most important assets are, what is most at risk. So that could be what, what is the what's the single piece of intellectual property that somebody could steal with us? What's the single disruption to our business that somebody could do as a result of using cyber cyber weapons? But by far most the, the biggest majority is probably cyber espionage. So the fear of a foreign government coming into the organisation, stealing say uh, formulas or intellectual property, and then passing those on to other national competitors in their own countries, which allow them to either win work from your customers or uh, alternatively to create a new product that comes out earlier and cheaper than the one that you're developing. They're not immune to state-sponsored attacks. Or other foreign states are looking at uh, manufacturing processes, manufacturing techniques, uh, and taking data from cyber attacks on, on manufacturing companies. Data about new products can easily be extracted from organisations at the moment, and key aspects about manufacturing processes are also easy to take. Some organisations are becoming more and more worried about the integrity of the manufacturing process. So the ability to interrupt that manufacturing process can cause significant disruption to cash flow or cause brand, brand damage in some ways. What you can do is compare what you're doing with your peers and we do a lot of work around benchmarking and, and uh, setting up collaboration groups for organisations in the same industries. Unfortunately, cyber is here today uh, and will be here tomorrow. Have you identified your critical assets? Do you understand what the risks are if those critical assets are compromised, either through uh, theft or by changes to the integrity of that data? Have you run scenarios? Do you really understand what the worst case scenario is for compromises to that, those assets? And what, are you able to respond effectively if that happens?